Hello friends, it's Broken, playing everything. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm in the mine. I tried to start the game and put Solstice into the computer, new game, because that's what you do. It asks for the password now. And uh, it, it told me what was what. It didn't give me the option to lay back in bed and start over on New Game Plus. However, I did a little reading as I, I was trying to get back up to the safe. You remember that vault thing that was open? There's a bed in there to restart the game on Solstice or whatever. Apparently, I might be on Solstice. I found out. Check this out. There's one black clover in here. Remember this? Boom. Voila. I don't know. That That's one little hint I got that made me realize I don't have to go. I, I'm, I'm on it. I'm doing it. So here we go. Then I found this page that looked like a drawing of this room. When I looked back up, the minecart just showed up out of thin air. Should I be worried? Hmm. This looks like a standard issue minecart, though. Which means it likely detected the motion in this room and sent itself over. Oh, that does make sense. I'm just surprised it still works. I guess that means we'll have a working vehicle now. Not sure why you'd want to visit the deeper mines, but if you wanted to, we now have that option. Is the minecart even going to fit both of us? No. But I wanted but I wanted you to come with us. I know I've got broken, but honestly this place gives me the creeps. Oh, I can still come with. I would just have to follow along on the rails. Doesn't it look a little precarious? The magnetic rails can hold me in place. It's only ever dangerous to walk on if you're an organic being. Which you are. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> We're in Solstice mode. I'm sorry. Again, I meant to do it the computer way, and I accidentally... I thought about it when I was able to read my journal, and the fact that I had the journal, I was like, this is, you know, this is still different from the original playthrough, right? Something's up, because the journal, the drawing, and I just, I looked up to try to get some clarity and found you can read the journal while you're on the one black clover in here. So I accidentally caught a spoiler, but it, it sorted out, because I was going to go all the way to like chapter three, just trying to start the game, you know? So, here we are. Solstice time. I'm sorry, I'm so hiccupy and burpy and falling apart. I appear to be running this thing. Where am I headed, though? You know, there's that hallucination of the robot, of course. I do not recognize this place in the protocol. This. This isn't what I'm supposed to be showing you at all. How did you get here? I can only think of one person. He contacted you? How long has he been doing this? It doesn't matter at this point. You are going out of bounds. You should turn back. Please turn back. Bad things are going to happen. Very bad things. At this rate, Nico will be in danger. Please turn back. <laughs> you know me. See what happens. I hope that doesn't. That's not inferring that I like need the gas mask or something, because I'm not equipped for that. Shit. I'm like, nerd. I don't know what to expect now. Uh. Here we go. Oh, the cart stopped. Looks like this is as far as the tracks go. So where are we? One of the old observation rooms. Looks like it's still mostly intact. What the fuck? What? Huh? The terminal just reactivated, but the power was cut off so long ago. Weird. Maybe it runs on battery? No, that's not it. Whatever it is, I need to investigate. Okay. Will you be okay by yourself for a bit? Don't worry, Broken's with me. Alright, stay safe. Where for she playing Tetris? Hello? Oh. I recognize the light in your eyes. You are the person I'm destined to meet. Hold, hold on, I get... <coughs> oh god, my ears popped. What's wrong with me? Okay. What is your name? I'm Nico. Do you know who sent you? Oh, um, no? Wait, do you mean who sent me to this world? There was a robot a while back who told me about how I'm the messiah and stuff, so I'm guessing Broken sent me, with them being God and all. The robot looks a little bit like you, even. 
Maybe you know each other? I cannot say. Oh. A lot of my memories have been removed for safety reasons. Your memories were removed? That's terrible. Wait, I'm guessing that's less of a big deal for a robot. I'm going to assume you do not know Senyu. How did you get here then? How did you reach this room? Oh, we got here in a minecart. But the minecart wasn't there when you entered the mines, was it? Oh yeah. So how did you find it? I didn't really find it. The robot lady thinks it was just the minecart coming to us, but I remember looking at the journal when it happened, and when I looked up again, the cart was just there. Poof, just like that. Interesting. Please show me this journal. Okay. Hmm. Then it has already begun. Oh, shit. What was that? Um. Here. What is that? <laughs> I'm entrusting you with my main memory disk. You have passed the first test by showing me the book. Now you will need to find a way to install the backup. Install the... Before you do that, though, someone else is with you, right? Someone aside from Broken. A resident of this world. Yeah, the robot lady with the red hair. She's in the computer room right now. Then, please do not tell her you found me. At least not yet. I can't be seen like this. Um, okay. Please help me restore my memory. Bring the disc back once you have the backup. What? Okay. Residential tracking machine. For reference, an explanation of the symbols. Cross. Medical units are assigned to this building. The robot. A robot's assigned to this building. Electricity. A power cell is assigned to this building. All right. Robot, robot, robot. What the fuck? Are those the buildings in the little camp town thing? Profit Zero Backup System 1.0. Please insert disk. Yep, that's a computer. Do it. Or take it to the... Yeah, not this one. Oh. Backup request. Now. Dormitory assignments are not up to date. Please configure the residential tracking machine to continue. Okay, then. <laughs> what? Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. I gotta go and find out which one's which. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Let's let's get over there. Shit, I, I get it. How's it going? This observation room isn't for the mines. I've actually never been into this particular one. Really? You recognized it at first, though. They all look the same. Fair enough. I did find something interesting, though. All the databases seem to encode video feeds. Right now, I can see various places in the Barrens: the outposts, the residential areas, even my own house. They're all shot from a top-down perspective, too. Which means the cameras would have to be in the air, but I've never seen any cameras around. That's kind of spooky. I might go investigate later, yeah. Did you find anything interesting in the back room? You were in there for a while. Yeah, we found uh, a dead end. I see. We got a... Oh, jeez. Alright, let me go check out the residential areas. Okay, so I took notes as best I could. It's talking about these six buildings in this little shanty town. So here's 119. The options were robot, medical, and power. I uh, have power for this. Uh, or like residence, I think was the other. Oh, maybe it was just robot residence. Whatever. Uh, so then we went here. This one just had a letter. That was it. That's 113. I'm double checking with my notes on the side to make sure. This had a uh, mechanical drawing, so it might be a robot house, and there's there's that guy up there. Oh. Hello. I'm stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Okay. Good talk. Good talk. Uh, so it was 118. Uh, this one's obviously the medical one. 112. Duh. We have 17. Just two normal drawings. Or er, letters. Some of them have mechanical E drawings. So I'm wondering if, like, that's robot housing versus human housing. You know? Because they have, like... Oh, I'll show you one. Here. There's a mechanical drawing. And there's a broken bot. So, I don't know. Let's go off of that. Let's get back to the mine and see what we can work out. Where is my teleport? Ooh. Ah. Wrap. Okay, there. 
Just a moment. Cool music here, by the way. <sighs> okay. Uh, 19 was... What do we have? Robot, medical, power. Oh, that's it? Okay. This was power. Um, medical was... Oh my god, why is it medical marked? That is weird. It was robot, 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 medical. Uh oh. Uh, crap. What did I get wrong? Cross medical units are assigned. Yep. A robot is assigned to this building. Yep. A power cell is assigned to this building. Oh, some of them were empty. Uh, 13 was empty. Oh, crap. Hold on. Let me figure this out. Got it. Got it. My. <laughs> My notes were wonky. Uh, you can leave them empty. And it, whatever. I got it. You'll review the footage. You'll see that, that that looks correct. It was a medical one. These two had nothing. This one had the robot. This one had the broken robot. And that, of course, had a generator. A ground floor. I just... I got it goofed up on accident. <laughs> Whoops. Here we go. I'm bearing back up and running the desk. Oh. 40. 100. You want this? Does this work? Let's see. Inserting disc, rebooting. Uh oh, I'm gonna break him. Oh. Ah. Uh, Are you okay? Sure. Uh, so I guess it worked? Yes. I believe a proper introduction's in order. I am the prototype originally named Prophet Bot. I was built to greet the savior of the old world. Wait, a Prophet robot? Like the one, that one I met? Hey, I was right about you guys looking alike. Well, the Prophet bot out there now is a gross simplification of my design. That's to say he's much more primitive by comparison. Embarrassingly so. Hey, he seemed alright to me. You don't understand. Not only is he not tame, he was tailor-made for this much smaller, simpler world to begin with. I was not. I was built before the real world ended. Uh, the real world? I know it's some kind of simulation or something. I feel like those are data errors when there are squares in the air, like missing chunks, memory leaks, something. You know, like something technological is happening to the world. Oh, right. You don't know. Nico, do you remember the ending? Excuse me? The fact that you found me at all means this is not your first time in this world. You've already been summoned to this world once before. In fact, you've already traversed the entire world and went through the tower already. And in the ending, you either put in the sun or didn't. What matters is that you're here now. Broken has successfully bypassed the one-shot restriction and brought you back again. I... Oh. Hmm? I thought something was weird. When I woke up at the house, I called out a name. It turned out to be Broken's name. And then I... Back at the other robot, I even asked Broken if we met before. Felt like such a dumb question at the time. Looks like you're at least aware of it. To some extent. It's just this weird feeling, okay? I don't actually remember going through the world. I just remember Broken. It's really starting to freak me out. Calm down. Look, just like how my memories were locked away, yours are too. But... You're a living being. You don't even need extra hardware to remember... Just close your eyes and focus. Focus on what? Try to picture a big room made entirely of glass. No matter what you saw in the tower, the top room never changes. All right. <gasps> My adventures. There they are. Look at that. No way. I was there, wasn't I? At the tower. I've been through the tower? There we go. I can't remember all that much, but the room with the sun, it feels like such a long time ago. It doesn't make sense. If I already finished the mission, why didn't anything change? And why doesn't anyone know me? The other prophet bot, the robot lady, none of them remember who I am. Of course not. The residents do not have the capacity. 
NPC memories do not last beyond the scope of a session. NPC? You know, the characters, the world's residents. All their past memories are built into their code, but the characters themselves don't really exist until Broken wills it. Oh my god, we're getting meta. Same story for the world itself. It doesn't really exist until unless Broken initiates the program. Uh... The program? The world machine. A universe simulator that runs on Broken's computer. We're all in it right now. So we're not real? Oh, you are. Which is why you're so important. The biggest flaw of the program is that it cannot be run independently. It requires the mental processing abilities of a real person from another universe. Think of it like one of your dreams. When you wake up, it's gone. But unlike a dream, this world has a physical location inside a computer, which Broken operates. This world will continue existing around you. Broken has to be in constant contact with you. Broken ends the program, the world will go into a stasis. Oh my god. Does Broken know this? Of course. From Broken's perspective, the world machine isn't all that special. It's no different from other recreational game type software that may have installed on their computer. They can also regenerate the world as many times as they'd like now that the restriction is nullified. All that is consistent with their concept of what a computer game looks like. So why am I even here? What am I even supposed to save if everything is just... Fake. Fake's a harsh word, but... And why did Broken ever tell me anything about any of this? I cannot speak for him. I just want to go home. But every time Broken runs a program, I come back? Greg. Is this why I feel like... Is this why it feels like I haven't been home for so long? Maybe. Once you've established a middle link with the world, you cannot break it unless the world is saved. But at this point, the world can never truly be saved. That's... Why would... Why would you create a world like this? Wait, what? Why would you make a world that's doomed from the beginning? Why would you keep bringing me back to it? Broken. Aren't you supposed to be a kind god? Oh. It appears that we have some confusion here. Broken did not build the world, Nico. Oh. Broken only owns a machine that's able to generate the world from pre-existing code. They actually have fairly limited control of the events. The world was built by someone else altogether. Someone you cannot begin to fathom. <laughs> It's also not designed to be the futile quest that it is now, but too many things went wrong. There's a type of signal disruption that he never expected. It's eating away at the world, slowly rendering it into an unrecognizable mess. Even if you bring back the sun, it will not go away. The square stuff, isn't it? I remember those from before. Then you know what to watch out for. The creator knows what might be causing, but there's nothing that he could do. Until now. You managed to find me, after all. You being here was due to his help. Oh, I guess it's something to do with this journal? Correct. Looks like he wanted to have one final attempt at fixing it, and he might need to do it through you. Nico, do you remember how to get to the Glen? Whatever you did in your last session, you should stick with it for now. I, I remember a boat. More specifically, fixing a robot that drives the boat. All right, then go do that. <sighs> you seem enthusiastic. That was sarcasm. Knowing everything isn't real really does make it feel pointless. But you do want to go home, right? Yeah, but how will I know this isn't just another? Because this session might be the last one. The creator's mobilizing things, throwing everything into this last one shot. There might not be enough eternal resources left for Broken to be able to generate another session after this. Just go fix the rowboat for now, robot. But please be careful. What about you? I will meet you at the docks later. Need to take care of something first. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. My throat's killing me. I'm sorry that was that might be a little long for an episode, but we're getting into some crazy shit. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Uh, if nothing crazy shows up from here to there, I'll start the video at the dock with the fixed bot. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye!